Welcome back, Zerke fans, to Nanalyze the Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we are into another exhibition match. It's going to be a match between KDTM on Jump Bots and Jasper on... Thing. Amphbots. On Fairyland. Which is a map we actually have seen a fair bit, so I suppose it's not the most exciting thing in the world. But hey, Amphbots on Fairyland is not that typical. We don't really have a lot of places they can go. The Water is essentially just there to provide boundaries and stop spiders from going straight into the actual base. It's not really something that comes up all that much otherwise. But yeah, so jump bots make a little more sense, but even then not super typical, so I'm not really sure what to expect here. But hey, it's jump bots, so puppies coming in at the very beginning because that's what you do for scouting. And that is going to be running into a, uh, not really much of a problem. Should be able to kill the duck without issue. I believe that deals... How much damage does that deal? 800 damage? 400 damage. So yeah. That'll kill the duck. Get some scouting in there. Not be a big problem. A little surprising that we've had... We see Jasper going in forward. I mean, it makes sense. If you go forward, it's a bit easier to then set up a bit of a front line in front of your base. And then build up behind that. So I get that. But at the same time, it's also opening up this left side of the base. Or northwest side of the base. If your opponent realizes where you are, they can then work from there and also ducks kill puppies, but they can also work to just avoid this defended location. Like, have this section? Oh yeah, it's super defended. Well, whatever. We'll just go over here and then attack from there and then attack in here and then everyone dies. So yeah, bit of a problem. So, in that case, it's going to be a little bit tricky for KDTM to get in here. Just because, I mean, they have to use pyros, and then they have to come in with heavyweight stuff, or moderators, either way. But it looks like KDTM is not even worried about harassing all that much. They're just trying to build up as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, we're getting a little bit low on power, and more importantly, getting a little bit stuck between all this construction at once. Not sure... Okay, what are the priorities right now? High priority on the power, good. Mid-priority on the commander, not ideal? I mean, I can kind of see where they're coming from. I kind of like the reclaim, but it is slowing them down. Jasper is getting their economy up a fair bit faster, you know. Here and there, an extra metal extractor, it does add up. But I like the fact that KDTM is adapting. They are getting the reclaim in there to get a bit of extra energy storage so they can use that to help build up all this other stuff. Because they do have a lot of units that are building up all the time, and yeah, you want to use that. So I like that. It's good thing, good quick thinking on KDTM's part to make up for a mistake. Bit of a mistake from KDTM to have to do that in the first place. But I like the adaptation. As for Jasper, they seem to be continuing entirely with ducks. I mean, they're coming in with the ducks. They have duck conch. How many conches do they have? Four conches already, just exploring around the map, trying to get everything possible, trying to eat up all the metal extractors. And I can't say I blame them. But at the same time, KDTM seems to be aware that Jasper is primarily focused along the eastern side of the map. And, I mean, they're expanding along there, setting up along there immediately, which, I mean, to be fair, not an unusual thing to do in the first place, but it seems like KDTM might be thinking about how they're going to intercept what Jasper is doing on the west, on the eastern side of the map. At the same time, though, there is nothing stopping the west here. This constable, unfortunately, is idle, which means these metal extractors are not taken, putting KDTM a bit behind. On top of the fact that they are running a bit of a excess, unfortunately. Probably could use another caretaker on top of that to really put an end to the excessing. Still, at the very least, able to stop this expansion coming in over south here. Get rid of the conch, get rid of the metal extractor, build up some more here. So KDTM should be able to get back into this. But again, Jasper is expanding along the western side of the map, and nothing is challenging that. Constable finally being used to build that up a little, a minute or so later than it could have been, but should work out all right. Again, Jasper, I and mean, they are ahead, and actually are starting to get considerably more ahead. Which could be a concern, but Moderator Pyro... The moderators will get rid of the ducks. The pyros can be able to jump in here, get rid of the rest of the metal extractors and the lotus. So overall, it probably won't be a big problem. But it is a thing to worry about. At any rate, the... Ah, sorry, I'm getting distracted by stream chat talking about the... UI here and the player names and win counters and all that. And it's like there's zero wins. This is team name. This is team number. 
This is win counter. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure why I have that other player list on. I feel like it's just because I wanted to show things like, or make sure like people would ask about like nationality or rank or something. So it was nice to have it, I suppose. But I mean, the only thing time that really makes sense is when you're dealing with team games, and you kind of want to know which players are on the team. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I see what you mean. The yeah, the names are misaligned. That's fair. Actually, that might be because I changed the font size. I think it might not be a robust to font size changes. Anyway, back to the game though. Pyro moderator coming in, rid of some of the ducks, getting having to deal with help over scallops, but the moderators are already in place, so the scallops shouldn't be a problem. Metal extractors have also been wiped out. Kind of missed that in the middle of the discussion of the UI element. Sorry about that. Getting distracted by Stream Jed. But I haven't had a chance to do any of my own playing, so it's been. I haven't had a chance to really have this sort of thing looked at or had the feedback from Stream. Anyway, KDTM coming in here. The Pyros. Oof. Gotta be careful. Can't get too close to the scallops. The moderators are there, but there's only three of them. They do have, I think, 10 second reload time. Yeah, they have 10 second reload time. So it is going to be a problem. But hey, you know, three shot that scallop. Gets rid of it. Does a lot of damage. The Pyros won't be able to really come in and do much beyond that. But there's that first couple of hits. Get rid of the scallop. Just get rid of the scallop. There it goes. That being said, with the scallop, the scallops go down. There's not a whole lot of defenses beyond that. If we look into the actual factory, it's going to be a grizzly being built up. But that may not be built up in time. The moderator's up with some reinforcements alongside of Jack. And that is the scallop down. That opens everything up. I don't think KDTM is aware of this, though. They have no way of knowing what's happening. They are going to soon. The Ravens coming in will get rid of this geo plant. And from there, should be able to just wipe out everything else. I mean, if they get rid of the geothermal plant, the Ravens will also see there's not a whole lot built up in terms of defenses, and that will open everything up. And I think at this point... What? Okay, they do have radar. They don't have a whole lot else. But at the very least, gets rid of that geo plant, deals some damage, but mostly just getting rid of that power. And why not just blow up the wreck for good measure? Still, though, KDTM, they're a little bit behind economically, I like that we've been building up, but they are starting to fall behind in large part because of Overdrive. Jasper just has a, about 8 metal advantage in Overdrive alone. And that's something that can often be forgotten, and it's something I forget myself. And it's something that KDTM has become wise to, and is building up themselves. So they are going to be getting that going. Should be fine. At any rate... The harassment is going to be the key thing, because KDTM is still behind Jasper in terms of overall economy. The power is coming up. It's going to help out. Jasper will be able to get, or KDTM will be able to get some more, some more of the overdrive going. But surprisingly not much. Oh, that's why. Not much, because this isn't connected to anything, unfortunately. So yeah, build a pylon and it should all be fine. But I'm not sure if KDTM has the economy view up. I mean, they're probably seeing, I don't know, they probably seeing this. They're probably not realizing, oh yeah, there's actually, it's not quite touching. And thus, it's not quite useful. And so they're not quite able to build up as many units as Katie, as Jasper, which means this army here from Jasper is going to be a real problem. Especially with all the Aryans being built up, going into the Anglers. Scuttle counter, Scuttle being set up to counter the Grizzly, and indeed, this will work. I mean, the Grizzly is at less than 8,000 HP, so the Scuttle will kill it, or, well, okay, the Scuttle is 8,500 damage. But, no, it's 8,000. I was right the first time. Yeah, so the damaged Grizzly does open things up a little bit. But that scuttle still needs to be completed. And again, KDTM kind of falling behind in terms of overall power. Just because they just don't have the overdrive. They could, but they don't. Not to mention they don't have to deal with defending all this stuff with their... <laughs> Seriously? Just, okay, sure. Yeah, go in the water. That's... I mean, it'll keep you alive. I'm not sure if they can jump back. I don't, don't have enough room, but okay. Give it a shot, I guess. At the same time, this entire raiding force could be used to go around the map and start taking out a bunch of these areas. I mean, the stingers cause a bit of a problem, but jacks can tank those no problem. As for the rest of it, I mean, it just feels like KDTM is getting a little bit scared. And I mean, I understand. They don't really know what's happening. They have no knowledge of any of this stuff. They have a bit of radar coverage over the northwest. They don't have any radar coverage over here... And I should point out, this has been played with the previous version. There's a new version that released today that added a special unit, or a new unit that can morph from the radar tower that helps with scouting. But 
There are no games currently, like, I couldn't find any games played on that version yet. It is that new. So, bit of a problem there. However, that may not matter. At this point, Jack's coming in here with no real resistance. I mean, yeah, stuff's going to shoot them, but they have 6,000 HP. They can tank that. They can just come in, rip everything apart. Actually, to get rid of the hacksaws, that'll help a ton. Or just have the singer go to the hacksaw. That works too. Get, let your opponent's units work against themselves. Always a good idea. Just micro judo, effectively. Jacks get rid of at least most of these defenses. That does open things up for the rest of the units. Unfortunately, the rest of the units are dead. But hey, just get rid of this. Just wipe out a bunch of the power infrastructure. Maybe jump in, get through all this other stuff. I think KDTM expected the factory to be here, but still, if you get rid of the overtype infrastructure, that at least opens things up a little bit in terms of overall economy or overall economic disparity. But seriously, the Jacks have jumped. Just jump in, just get closer. That's the only way you're going to be able to do all this damage in time. Is if you jump. No, no. KDTM is getting cold feet in the middle of their opponent's base. Oh, finally going for the jump, but yeah, not not enough. Not quickly enough, I'm afraid. So that is a dead Jack. Alas. Still did a lot of damage, though. Jasper still kind of falling behind in terms of overall economy. The Ravens trying to come in here to destroy what they can, but unfortunately, too many anglers are in play. Completely wiping that out. And at the same time, the Scuttle. Uh, wait, where's the Scuttle? Shoot, I missed that. Oh, no, I didn't miss anything. The scuttle's right there. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on. It wasn't much. Fortunately, though, air is still a bit of a concern going both ways. And the scuttle is not being used against this grizzly. I don't understand why. Just hit the grizzly with the scuttle. You aren't going to get it with the ravens. It's not happening. And you just opened everything up. Jasper can easily rebuild, and there's no follow-up force to cause a threat. And so this is not a particularly valuable layout here. I I guess the anglers are dead, and if reclaim happens, it'll kind of be worth it. I just don't see the reclaim happening. And at the same time, Jasper still has an economic advantage. They have a production advantage. They have a lot of damage being done. They have gotten rid of the grizzly, though. So at the very least, that grizzly has gone down to the scuttle. But that may be too little too late. I mean, the amount of ravens that are here... here means that all the swifts are going to be quite useful, all the anglers, or whatever anglers get built. Pretty safe option, really, when it comes to building anything. And of course, there's already another force. Like, that's the thing. Jasper's been able to build a backup force while KDTM essentially suicided their entire army and is building primarily air, despite the fact that they have no way of dealing with anti-air, especially ground-based anti-air. Finally getting themselves a means of getting rid of air-based anti-air, but again... The problem persists that there's a grizzly on their front doorstep that does that can't really be dealt with, and these ravens are gonna go kill themselves. That's gonna be this is gonna be it. KDTM's thrown their entire army away to try to get rid of a few units here and there. I mean, they might be able to get rid of the anglers, maybe. If they do, at least okay, some damage has been dealt, some damage has been worth it, but it's not nearly enough. Toad trying to get some revenge here. However, that went from what nine ravens to three. There is no resistance for Jasper now. They can walk right into KDTM's base and take out everything. There is nothing standing in their way. Nothing can stop them now. And I mean that. Firewalker coming in here will at least help. And the Scuttle coming in... What's that? Going to be another 13... 11 seconds? That'll do some damage, but it's not nearly going to be enough. I It's a valiant effort. That's all I can really say. It's, you know, get that up there. Do some damage. It'll help. But it's not nearly going to do enough to actually get rid of this grizzly. Not fully. Now when you consider that there's also, you know, continuous extra units from Jasper. Jasper has a 3,000 metal advantage by attrition. And just overall doesn't really have to worry about much of anything. They have a grizzly going harassing the north, the western side of the map while also having a grizzly containing the center. And nothing really able to contest that. And the ravens can't even try. There are too many swifts in play. And the toad can't come in to actually deal with that. And that still means the Scuttle is able to do its job, gets rid of the Grizzly no problem. But there's another, yet another Grizzly, and Jasper is making yet more Grizzlies in the queue. Like, this, this isn't something that KDTM is going to be able to stop the way they're going about it. Right now, it looks like they're deciding we're just going to fight water with water. Get a Grizzly of their own. And that's fair. I can, I understand that. I just don't, I just don't think it's time. I, I think, I think it's too late. I think, but at this point... There, so much damage has been done 
that really, I don't see any way Jasper can come in here and actually have a chance. I feel like Jasper is just going to be coming in here. They're going to be doing some damage. It's going to be able to do something. And then that's going to be it. Their commander goes down already. So that's no commander, no real presence around the map outside of their main base. A grizzly being built up is going to take two minutes to build. This is a bad situation to be in. All right, not to be too, too pessimistic, but I don't see this happening. I'm sorry. It just, it doesn't seem likely considering just the economic disparity between the two. Yeah, fourfold economic difference. That is generally towel throwing territory, and indeed there it is. KDTM throws in the towel. Bit of a no. Oh. Definitely a match. Felt like a match. Felt like a bit of a fair match. It wasn't too much of a problem. And apparently it also decided to end on me. Thanks, game. So, yeah. That, that'll that be that. So we'll be back in a couple minutes with the next match. Which will be a match between... Uh, who's it going to be? Oh, right. Sparkles and Ultra Godzilla. So, Sparkles and Ultra Godzilla up against each other on the map that... What map is this? It's Onyx Cauldron. Oh, boy. i got to remember to change my camera settings before getting into it. So, yeah. Onyx Cauldron, Sparkles, Ultra Godzilla. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple of minutes.